So this is 11th tutorial about fluid mechanics. Today we are talking about a friend of Bologna equation. Unlike Bologna equation, this friend lives normal to the streamlines. Although this friend has not much applications, we still have to cover that for completeness. Before we continue, we shall discuss what it really means by normal to streamlines. The streamline coordinates consist of two axes. One is streamline direction, one is normal direction. If the streamline is curved, then it is defined in the book that the n axis points radially inverse to the center of curvature. If the flow is steady, incompressible, and viscous effect can be neglected, then the Bologna equation can be applied along streamlines. But for the normal, but normal to the streamline, we have to apply its friend. In the example of natural logs, if these guys are streamlines, then in this region, the end direction points radially inverse like this. And to compare points 3 and 4, we must only use the friend of Bologna equation, not Bologna equation itself. Let me repeat once again. Like Bologna equation, this equation is only applicable when the flow is incompressible, steady, and viscous effect can be neglected. And this equation is for a cross streamline, not a long streamline. If a long streamline, we shall use Bologna equation. Now we do a quick example to illustrate how to use this equation. So we first make sure that we can apply this equation. The flow is incompressible, in viscous, steady, and we have to determine pressure variation across streamline. So we can apply the formula. We write down C plus rho integrate 3 squared divided by R dn plus gamma z equals C. In fact, this flow is flow in the xy plane. So there is no gravity here and we can neglect this term. And look at here. We are provided that R times V R equals R naught V naught. So we have three as a function of R equals R naught V divided by R. We also observe that R points radially outward. And for any location, we have N points radially inward. So we have minus dn equals dr. So looking at this formula, and if we take reference about this arc, we have p minus p naught plus rho r integrate from r r naught. r is just r minus dr equals zero. And we substitute in the expression for v. And we simplify a bit, and this thing equals zero. So we have p as a function of r equals p naught plus rho v naught r naught squared divided by negative two and this thing equals p naught plus rho v naught squared divided by two. 1 minus r naught by r squared. And we do the next example. Let's set the r direction like this. And again, if we set our reference at point 1, we have p minus p1. Equals 0. And we just a constant, so we pull it out. And we integrate to find that is natural log r divided by r1 plus gamma. And let's let this guy as h. And that means h is the elevation from ez1. So now we have pressure equals p1 plus rho v squared. And if we look at point 2 first, R2 is 5 meter, and we have pressure R2 equals 5 meter, and we continue to substitute the values. Water has density of 1000, velocity is 10 here, and natural log R is 5, and R1 is 6, and minus water has 9.8k specific weight. And point 2 is 1 meter above point 1. So that is about 12 kilopascal. 
It is left as an exercise for you to show that pressure at 3 is negative 20.1 kPa. So, today we talk about a friend of Baloney equation, and it works normal to the streamlines. We also went through two examples about that. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching. Feel free to ask us any questions and give us any feedback in the comments below.